Alright guys, this is take three. The first video, I didn't realize there was a pause button, so I was trying to do everything one-handed. Let's see if I can make this video less than 10 minutes. Alright, so, this is going to be a two-on-one video. I'm going to show you how to modify Xamar launchers for the Toa Ainika. I'm going to show you how to modify them for the Paraka. And last but not least, I am going to show you how to modify Ernak so that he doesn't suck. Um, more on that later. So the first thing I'm going to do, show you how to modify the Paraker Xamar Launcher. You'll only need two parts. You're going to need a tooth with axle hole and a two axle. So all you got to do is put those two together. Like so. And... Um, oh shoot. Then once it's together, all you gotta do is clip it right into that hole right there. And that's about how your Xamarin Launcher should look once it's modified. The reason I chose this part in particular is because it comes in all of the colors you're gonna need. Not really, but close enough uh, to the colors you're gonna need. What's cool is the ball clicks in there and now you can pick up your figure and freaking hold him upside down and the ball's not going to fall out. So um, if you're tired of losing those darn things, not going to lose them anymore, at least not as easily. Um, they will still fall out of there under certain circumstances, but it's like a 1% chance versus 50% depending on if it was straight up or not. All right, um, next thing I'll show you is how to do it for the Anika. And you'll notice all of his balls are on the ground. All you're going to need to do this one is this piece, which, forgive me for not knowing the name, like the tooth with axle hole, this piece and this piece. But those are the three pieces you'll need. And you put them together like this. First you put that into there, then you put that into there. So you take this, and then you're going to stick it right on there, on the on this top notch here. And that is how your mod should look when it's done. And what's really cool about this is you can just snap the balls in like that. And it's, let me tell you, that is satisfying to snap them in. It's really easy. It's easier than I'm making it look because trying to do it with one hand but yeah it's stays in there they're solid they're staying in there and now because some of these colors are so rare you can't lose them now if you want to like I don't know store your bonks or if you need to store them um, you're not gonna lose the Zammers anymore sadly the Paraka only <laughs> hold one each even though they come with four I don't know if that's ever annoyed anyone else so, um, one thing I said is that these come in the right colors, but they don't. Um, this one does not come in pearl dark gray, and these two do not come in pearl dark gray either. That's a pretty rare color for some reason. So with Holly, I used just light, uh, dark bluish gray, and I think it looks good. I did not order dark bluish gray tooth with axle hole. I ordered flat silver, which um, looks kind of like junk in the video, but in person it looks flawless. I don't know how that works, but yeah, it really does look good in person. But either way, you're not going to lose your Zammers. And as you can see here, it comes in all the right colors. Comes in silver, comes in silver. And the tooth with axle hole comes in gold, comes in silver, and flat silver. You can see there's a difference in the two silvers in this shot, but it's just, that looks good in person. I don't know why it looks like junk right now. Alright, one more thing I gotta add is for Jala, the, uh, this piece does not come in the dark red, but I think it looks good in trans red if that bothers you. You can get this piece. Um, this was a relatively inexpensive piece. And you just have to use... Oh, goodness. You just have to use a pin since it is a pin connection. 
and then put that into there and it works just the same as the other ones all right moving on to Ernak. the first thing i gotta say with Ernak is you're gonna need three extra parts to modify him you're just gonna need two zammers and you're gonna need one of these long pins now let me describe the reason i hate this build I was excited to get him because he was one of my favorites as a kid, and I never got to, never got to have him. Um, I just love the concept of a, a golden paraka-looking dude full of balls, and actually building him made me realize he's not incredibly full of balls, and I thought it looked kind of lame. Um, so you can see I already have my mod here. Uh, for the Zammer launcher and this is how the back looks now this is the main problem with I had with the build because you're ruining your hose there I don't know if anyone can see how junked up that hose is but because it's bent all awkwardly it's junking up the hose and it also makes the build asymmetrical which irritates the heck out of me um, and you really can't add more Zammers to this I tried and they just fall out so let me show you my mod the first thing you're going to do is you're going to unplug those hoses and you're going to take the pins out. Okay, now you're going to take these pins and you're going to put them into that hole right there on both sides. Which will leave it looking like this. Alright, so there's your pin number one. There's your pin number two. Last thing you're going to do is you're going to take this long pin and you're going to put it right in this very top notch, just like that. Finally, you're going to take your hoses as they were before underneath here and you're going to plug them into that pin you just moved on both sides. I probably already said finally, but the actual last step is going to be to take his tailpiece and plug it into one notch on that top pin. You don't want it to go all the way in, you just want it on the first one. And so that's how it should look right there. Now let me show you why this is a good mod. Because, here's a cameo from my cat. Um, <laughs> what are you sniffing buddy? So. These are all the Zammers that the set comes with, right? I took them all out. Those are the ones it comes with. You're gonna need those two more. And now I'm gonna put I'm gonna put four of them back into the hand. And I'm gonna put the other one into the Zammer. So we'll have this many left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll have nine left over. Alright, so here he is without the Zammers. As you can see, he's incredibly more symmetrical now. And it just looks a lot better, I think. Um, I put the Zammers into his hand and into his launcher. And now I have nine left over. So to make it completely symmetrical with nine, we're going to put four into this side. We're going to put four into this side. And we're going to have one in the middle. Okay, I just want to point out that to get them in there, you want to start with your first one being all the way in the back. You can't really tell that it is, but it's in the bottom, in the back. You want your next one to be on top of that, but you want it to be not there. You want it to be towards the front. You want your last one, or your second to last one, to be right on top of the first one that you did, like so. And you want your very last one to dangle about in the middle. That's how you should place them. Alright, and you might be wondering, what about the very last Zammer? Alright, you're going to put the last one right in the middle between the two in the back. And then I'll explain this build. Alright, the video is actually going to be 10 minutes. Like I said, I was trying not to do. But it's time better spent this time. So, as you can see, dude is absolutely stuffed with Zammers. I don't know if you can really tell a difference from how he looked at the beginning, but um, 
I think this is just a better way to look at him. And also the instructions don't even tell you how to put the, the balls in there. So um, the very last thing to show you is the reason for this new peg on the back is because it actually holds the Zammer in place better than the tubes and stops things from popping out. So yeah, that's how he's going to look after this mod. And he stays together better <laughs> he stays together better so if you shake him around and stuff um i think i showed you the wrong way to put the bo the balls in there but um if you guys want to experiment around with how you put them in there i've been able to do it so that i could even hold him upside down without them falling out which i can't do right now so um hope you enjoyed the video hope it was useful and uh, peace out. Happy building.